Now that we've installed and started up Unreal, uh, we're going to make our first project. And this project is going to be based on the third person template. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to call it tutorials because that's what I'm doing here. And you're going to want to stick with Blueprint, probably. Uh, this is what you're going to be using for programming, either Blueprint Visual Scripting or C++. We're going to stick with Blueprint because it's easier. Target platform can be whatever you want. We're going to stick with desktop, uh, quality preset, maximum or scalable. Let's just keep all this at maximum. Starter content enabled, ray tracing. Doesn't really matter what we do with that, so I'm going to keep that disabled. And then we can create our new projects. And when the project finally opens up, you will see a little something like this. The way you will navigate around a map like this is holding down the right click button and then just using WASD to move around. You can also pan up, down, left and right by holding the middle mouse button. And between the two of those, you should be able to more or less move around however you need to move around to design your levels. But before we can design levels, we're going to need to make a lot of little things. So let's take a look at how Unreal actually works. If we go over to the right hand side here, you will see the outliner. This is all of the actors that are present in this particular level. A actor is anything that you place into your map. So this thing over here, this is an actor. This thing over here, which is where your player character will spawn, is also an actor. This text over here, also an actor. Any object you're seeing right here on screen is referred to as an actor. There's multiple different types of actors. And if we press control space, we can see our folder structure here. So uh, this is where we will be able to make our new own assets. We've got our starter content here, which Unreal uh, is very nice in giving us things like some animations that a project starts up with and then we also have uh, some skeletal meshes. These are pre-made things that you can use for like prototyping and testing stuff before you start making the actual visuals for yourself. We're going to throw away most of this because we're not going to be using any of this in our final game. So I'm just going to go select everything from the outliner and press the delete key to delete things out of existence. Which leaves us with a couple of lighting related things over on this side of the screen. We'll talk about that a little bit later. That's a tiny bit beyond the basics that we're going to be talking about here. But if you look at the left hand side here, there's a tab that says place actors. So if we click on that, we can choose the type of actor that we want. Uh, but more importantly, we have basic which is actor, character, pawn. We'll get to that in a moment. These are specific types of actors that obviously do lighting stuff. So we've got a spotlight and a point light. And again, that's an entirely separate tutorial series, uh, the lighting systems in Unreal. We've got shapes. These are just some basic shapes, like a cube, like a sphere, cylinder, cone, plane. You get the point. You've got some cinematic stuff, which is not relevant for what we're doing right here. Some visual effects stuff, post-processing volumes, sky atmospheres, volumetrics, all much more advanced again than what we're talking about right now. We've got geometry. These are similar to the shapes, but these can actually be edited and changed around a lot easier. So these are the ones that we'll be using. So we're going to just drag in a box and we're going to delete the two shapes that we've made before. Then, if you come over to the right-hand side again, we have a details panel. This is where all the information about the currently selected actor can be found. So, we have the surface material, we have the geometry information, but we also have, and that's what we're going to be talking about right now, the transform information. So, at the moment, its location is minus 820 in the X direction, positive 3430 in the Y direction, and positive 1830 in the Z direction. So let's set all of this to zero. And now this thing is set exactly to zero, zero, zero. That's usually a good point to work off of. As you can see, all of the other things like the skyline and stuff like that are also set up at the uh, zero, zero location in the world. So let's drag out our start player. And as you can see, it's really difficult to actually properly position things sometimes. So what you want to do, details, is just put this at zero, zero. 
and then the Z direction is literally just how high up it is. So if we start a game now, we, we can press this little button over here, playtest this level, and the game will run in our viewport window. And we'll be able to see that we spawn on top of the block that we just placed. And the template comes with some basic input controls so we can walk around and this is starting to look a bit like a game. So let's go back to the geometry and if we have that selected and we go up here to select mode and we go into brush editing or by pressing shift 7 we can suddenly start selecting individual sides of this cube and dragging them around and now the cube is a lot wider and if we go back into the gameplay we can walk down it. And this is, of course, how we're going to be making our 2D platformer level. 